In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a common problem that iMovie has with El Capitan, and it's when you drag pictures in. So there's my version of El Capitan. It's when you drag pictures in, you get a blank screen. So uh, here's the QuickTime version I'm using, and then I'm using iMovie, and if you drag any picture into the timeline, you'll see that it when you put it in there, it just shows up completely black, like there's nothing that you can do about it. Um, for whatever reason, it's just a common bug. So there's a picture that I'm going to use. And down at the bottom, um, you'll see that we have QuickTime in the dock there. So just click on QuickTime. And the process to save this issue is to use QuickTime and do a new screen recording and you can record your screen as a video and what you're going to do is you're going to select just a portion of the screen which is basically just the picture and you turn that video into an actual um, image in a sense so you just click start recording and it just records that portion of the screen so there you, there you go just start recording it takes a few seconds you'll have to click the stop button at the top and then you'll have a video rather than a picture, and a video goes into the iMovie uh, very easily and seamlessly. So you shouldn't have any issues when you uh, drag that movie into the, um, the iMovie project. So you can name it whatever you want, and then you can click on Save, and you should be good to go. It doesn't matter what you save it, uh, you can name it whatever you want, just click on Save whenever you get a chance, and it already exists, so I'm just going to replace it. So then uh, you have that file on the desktop. And right now I have the old picture in there in iMovie. So I'm just going to click on Import, File, Import. Rather than drag it in, you can also drag it in. Um, but click on Desktop, and then click on the video that we just created, which is the Untitled 7. Click on, it really doesn't matter where you put it, but you can put it um, in a new location if you desire to put it in a new location. So let's put it in a new location. Um, so then once it imports, um, we'll be able to drag it in the timeline and you should be able to then see it in your project. So right there, click OK. You can then uh, drag it up into your timeline and the first one's black and the next one is a picture. So this is sort of a way that you can use pictures in iMovie while using the Mac operating system El Capitan. So I hope that you got something out of this. I hope you're able to use this uh, neat trick. And um, thank you for watching.